Okay, let's talk about the truth here in Nova. Imagine you took the base response of a HOLA, the technicals of a HEXA, combined it with a, the treble response of a truth here red, and you combine them all together, and there you have the Nova. Fantastic IEM that's really well packaged in that. I really like. A lot of people have asked me how this competes in the market. I think it's very competitive, especially at its price point. Maybe one of the better or the best IEMs out there. I really like the shell. I really like the packaging, but I don't think it's a perfect IEM and let's try to get a little bit more into it here soon. I think the fit for me is really good. It matches my target curve pretty much 95% likely and it has pretty good technicals for the price. All right, let's compare it here to another IEM, the Monarch Mark III. Now, I want to get everything out of the way. The Monarch Mark III is a better IEM, but I did want to show you the shell size of this IEM. This IEM here, it's a little bit bigger, but they're very comparable in the build quality of each other. Okay, on to my favorite IEM, the KZ Krillet, the greatest $1,000 kilobuck killer. No, 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 I'm kidding. It's not that great of an IEM, but I do want to show the shell size and how the shell size here of the KZ Krilla is just much smaller. And you can see how it has this certain kind of KZ style fit that I think works for some people, but it doesn't really work for me. Okay, let's look at the Truth Deer lineup. This is the Truth Deer Hola case. This here is the Truth Deer Hexa. This is the Hexa's case. The Hexa and the Truth Deer Red kind of have the same case and the same cable. They're very, very similar. And then this right here is the Truth Deer Nova case. It has this nice clip to it. It's kind of soft on the inside. Really quite nice. It's probably my favorite of the batch. The Truth Ear Nova comes with six sets of tips, three silicon, one foam, and two sets of the double phalange. These are new. They did not come with any of the previous models. Let's go ahead and take a moment and look at the normal set. They kind of look like this. I think the new ones are better. Okay, let's look at the shell size. On the left, we have the Nova. On the right, we have the Hexa. You'll notice that the Nova has a nice shine to it. The Hex is a lot smaller, a little bit different shape and texture to it. Nova feels really smooth. This right here is the Truth Ear Red. And just notice how much bigger the nozzle is. We'll compare that in just a minute. Um, but it feels like a little bit bigger. And then right here is the Hola. And the Hola is the baby of the bunch, the cheapest, and also the smallest shell size and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and start measuring these. All right, so the first one we have is the Truth Deer Nova. That's about 5.1 millimeters. Let's compare that to some of the other ones. Here's the Truth Ear Red coming in at 5.6. Chunky boy. And then we go to, to the Hexa, and the Hexa is at 5.0. What's next? The Hola and the Hola is at 4.4. Let's, uh, you know, kind of compare them all. The red's the biggest, the Nova's the next biggest, the Hexa's the next lowest, and the Hola is the baby of the bunch. There you go. Okay, these are my test tracks that I use to listen to songs. This is my first one I made about a year ago. This is my second list that I use as well. Found more popular songs that I like the stuff that I actually enjoy and really want to listen to. This is a list of larger audiophile songs that I found. A lot of them are really good. Some of them have unique properties that help me listen to tracks and get to know what I want and what I want to listen to. And down below I have my favorite music. And you can see there's quite a bit of songs there, but you get an idea of what kind of music I listen to. I just wanted to share that with you guys so you had some transparency about what I like and what I use. And Truth Air Nova hits pretty much 99% of my library perfectly. Okay, let's look at our graph. We have our lows, mids, highs, the upper treble, and it's a nice overall curve, and I'd highly recommend it to you. No, 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 guys, I am just kidding. Let's get to the real square. Okay, let's talk some graphs. First of all, this is my curve. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Nova here. 
and my curve has been sat for for a few weeks before even the Nova graph has come out. And it's interesting to me how close that is to my graph. I even got some comments on uh, Discord just like, wow, it's like almost perfectly there. And so it, it matches my my preference really, really well. And so it sounds really good for me and it hits the songs that I want it to just extremely well. Let's look at a few other ones. My favorite IEM that I take to work with me because it's affordable, I'm not afraid of losing it, is the Truth Air Hexa. Um, it's, if you'll notice, I mean, the two match up really well. You'll see a little bit more energy here in the Nova from the 4K to, to 6K region. And you also see a little bit of a bump here uh, with the Nova in the in the sub bass. And I think it does sound a lot better for me. Like I don't think the Hexa sounds bad, but it just tilts it up. It just raises the bar and makes that overall sound quality for me and for my preferences and for the music I, I like to listen to just a tiny bit better. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is look at the Critical Red. We'll get rid of the Hexa. I think the problem I had with the Critical Red is the impedance adapter was a little bit funny. It also, I think, got overhyped and almost over talked about. But if you'll notice how close these two are, especially after, say, the 1K region all the way over here, it looks like they're almost perfect. I mean, you see a little bit more energy in the Truth Air Red and this region right here. But most of the point, it's about the same. It looks like somebody just added maybe a 10 impedance adapter to this, added a lot more resolution and details. I think overall the sonic audiophile qualities of the Truth Air Nova is that it does sound better. It does sound much, much better. And it feels like the level up version of the Truth Air Red for me. And even, and even you know, so it's, uh, I think that's interesting to see. We'll show the uh, Truth Air Hola here really quick. Um, and just so you can kind of see how it looks. I mean, it's very similar. Truth Air Hole is also actually a really nice IEM. And I think it's a great little benchmark, especially for those that don't want to put, put out that kind of money or just want to have a travel set to sit around your house or take their work with you. It's also a really good little set. So you can kind of see how they all compare. All right, let's talk about who this IEM is for. I think it's for a lot of people. I think it's for people who are beginning their audiophile journey. This is a really strong set. I think it's for somebody who loves the Truth Ear lineup. I think this is a really good quality IEM. I highly recommend it to people who want to get into the hobby or are fans of Truth Ear. It's nice. It's easy listening. Has great tone. Great tech. Good for gaming. Overall, it's a night. I'm giving it a 92 out of 100, which is one of the better IEMs that I've rated. I fully recommend this IEM if you're in the market for something like this. I don't think you'll regret it. Hey, please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps the channel.